Hi everybody, welcome to episode 22. We are currently at Forest Haven and we are here with Jo. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello Rissy, how are you? Jo runs a vegan B&B as well as uh, got lots of rescues, so it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful here. Now Jo. And Jo's a fantastic cook. I yeah, know, she cooks all your meals. How yeah. else is that? I yeah. hope so. I hope, I hope it works well today. <laughs> And we've also got uh, Frankie, <laughs> very noisy dog. <laughs> now, Joe, what are you cooking today? All right, so today I thought I would do jackfruit burger because everyone seems to love it and it's just so easy to do as long as you can yeah. get hold of the jackfruit. Yeah. Um, and the other thing we're going to try and do is on the yeah, whips up is uh, just a quick of a, um, aquafaba mousse, chocolate yeah. mousse. Yeah. So. Yum, mm -hmm. yum. Very good, yeah. Right. Do we get to eat? Yep. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or if it's shit, we just write to the dogs. <laughs> if it works out, we can eat it. Yeah, let's hope so. All so right. um, I'm giving away all my secrets here, so my guests will, my guests will know how I make all the things. Oh, so. yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, Does that mean we get into the kitchen, Jamie? <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, Frankie Fanner. All right, Jack. Come right. on, let's go cracking. We're going to get cooking. Oh. Here we go. So what are we starting off with? Um, we're going to start off with making the chocolate mousse. Uh, so that's from aquafaba. So we're going to use the juice out of the black beans. Fantastic. So, yep. Can't wait. Let's get on to it. All right. So what's happening, Joe? Okay, so we're going to start doing the chocolate mousse. Um, so this is going to be a dark chocolate mousse. Um, so first of all, we're going to melt the chocolate because that actually needs to cool off before we put it into okay. the aquafaba because it will collapse if we put it in when it's warm. So we'll melt that now. Okay. Um, so I've just got a little bowl over a saucepan of water. If you've got a microwave, you can do that in the microwave as well. Um, I'm just using this lint chocolate, but you can use sort of any chocolate you like. I've done it with the the vegan white chocolate as well, Ooh, that was and nice. that works quite well too. Okay. It's quite sweet, yeah, like the dark chocolate, the white chocolate, because you sweet. have to put a little bit of sugar into the aquafaba to make it whip properly. Yeah. Um, maybe a little bit of a bitter chocolate is good because it takes away a bit of the sweetness. sweetness. Yeah. Um, but the white chocolate actually does work really well as well. I've made that quite a few times. So mm, we'll just yeah. melt that first. Okay. And then do um, we have to leave it to cool? And then we'll leave that to cool while the aquafaba is whipping. All right. So that should be enough time for it to cool down. What are you doing, Joe? Um, so we're melting the chocolate. Um, so it's kind of melting down, but it's a little bit thick. I don't want it to separate. I'm just adding a little bit of milk as we go. Just because I want kind of a smooth, smooth creamy kind of melted chocolate texture. If you're doing this in the microwave, yeah. you won't really need to do this. It's just oh, okay. Because you're doing it over here. Yeah. Over so you chocolate. just add it by. Yeah, just by a feel by. But look. just a dribble at a time. Yeah. Um, I think that's probably enough now. I'll take that off. And, All good. Um, we'll and just we'll let that cool now. Beautiful. Um, so that should be really. It shouldn't really be warm at all by the time we add that to the. Aquafaba, so we'll do that bit next. Yeah. No, no, hang on. Okay, um, all right, so now is uh, the aquafaba bit. So I'm actually using black beans. A lot of people like to use chickpeas. Oh, okay. um, I like black beans or cannellini beans. So oh. you can use it from a pan or you can use it when you, if you cook your own beans, you can use the water from that. Um, but I'm just gonna drain the water out of this can into here. Yeah, um, and then we're going to whip it up, and it should actually just whip up like egg whites do. But I'm going to strain it just in case there's little bits of bean come out. We don't want that in our mousse. So strain that through. Because it's quite gluggy and thick, isn't it? So you, it yeah. takes a little while to get just get everything out of the can, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. Um, and this is the stuff that everyone usually throws away. Mm. Um, so you can actually make, obviously, the mousse. It makes like a lighter mousse. A lot of vegan mousses are quite heavy. Yeah. Um, because they're made with avocado, yeah, yeah, coconut not... cream, that kind of yeah. thing, um, or nuts. Um, this kind of gives you a more kind of lighter texture mousse. Fluffy. Fluffy, yeah. yeah. Nice. And you can also make meringues, pavlova with it as well. So similar so, kind of method, but yeah. slightly different. So what do you add to this now? So I'm not going to add anything to this now. Oh, okay. um, I'm actually just going to whip this up until it's kind of... Um, like a I'll just show you in there. So yeah. that's how much has come out of it. It's probably less than a cup. That's maybe two thirds of a cup of the liquid. So don't be scared by the colour. No. Nah, like, look, if you want a completely 
if you're doing a meringue, I would suggest probably not using the black bean because that's going to give maybe a greyish colour. Yeah. But because we're doing a dark chocolate mousse, yeah. um, that's not going to matter at all. And I actually think that the black beans oh, give less of a flavour than yep, the chickpea yep, yep, water. Makes it, yeah, it makes sense. Um, or you could use cannellini bean. Yeah. Like that, that's kind of obviously a lot kind of clearer and lighter. So yeah. we're just going to put this on. For how long? Um, until it whips, really. It depends on... Sometimes on the aquafiber, on the weather, it will take maybe a few minutes. So, so we'll, we'll come back. Leave this, yeah. Right. Um, but you can use something like this. This is just one I grabbed at the local kind of um, market. Um, it's not a fancy <laughs> one. <laughs> it's no by, by me, it's no fancy one. But you can use one as hey, hand one. whisks. Yeah. But I wouldn't advise whisking it by hand because no, that would be that. there like an hour no. later. No, no we're not <laughs> like stupid. Like won't have got very far. So, yeah. All right, whip Just away. Leave okay, that. So this has been whipping for about five minutes, and you can see it's already started whipping up. Yeah. Um, it actually acts quite a lot like egg whites. Mm. Um, it just, uh, I guess it's the proteins in it. So it's whipped this mm. much now. That's mm. already probably trebled in size, I reckon. Yeah. Um, and this is a point now where we start adding the sugar into it, and the sugar will actually make it... Um, Meringue. Like... Yeah, and also whip up a lot more and then it will go that kind of glossy, um, you know, kind of um, texture to it, which the egg whites would get as well if you were doing it with those. So we'll start whipping again. And then add the sugar if slowly. I can the thing. Yeah, we'll add the sugar. Joe, slowly. you're blocking the view. Sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> I wrote this. Um, so we'll just start it whipping. I've got half a cup of sugar. Yeah. And we'll just see how much we need. I don't want to have it too sweet. Um, but we'll just add a little bit at a time. I don't know if you want to have a little bit of a, a look in there. Um, so it will get to that really thick texture, you know, where you can turn the bowl upside down and it won't pull out. Um, just add like a little bit of sugar at a time. If so we're doing a little bit at a time? Yeah, yeah. All right. Can we come back? Yeah, I can keep adding this sugar and then I can actually let you know how much sugar I actually added to it in the end. Yeah, um, perfect. Yeah, so it'll take another couple of minutes to do this process. So, yeah, oh. okay. uh, so that's been whipping for about another five minutes, I reckon. And we've added the whole half a cup of sugar. And so that's basically just a cast of sugar. Um, and I've just added that into it quickly and slowly. <laughs> She's had two wines. <laughs> No, 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 no. Been um, and you can see, I don't know if you want to come a bit closer. <gasps> yeah. So you can see it's actually gone glossy and, Do upside down. and I can actually turn it upside yeah. down without it falling out. So yeah. that's kind of where you would want to be with eggs and that's where you want to be with this. Yeah. Um, something I didn't show you is I added a tiny bit of this crema tarte. Yep. You can just get this in any supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I literally added like, I'll show you on the teaspoon. I probably added about this much. So what's that? Maybe a sixth or something. I don't know. I don't like smoke hardly, heroin. Hardly anything. So that's the consistency that we want here, and that's where we'd want to be for meringues if we were making those as well. So um, we've got the chocolate here. It's actually kind of really room temperature. It's really warm in here today, so it yeah. actually looks like it's. Sort of separating a little bit, but it should still work. Yeah, it's still now looks the soft. The thing about aquafiber is, if you've got any oil in there, it will kind of collapse it a little bit. So we're gonna put this back, add this in, and then whip it for just a few seconds. Okay. And, and then make sure it's kind of whisked um, all together. It. And then we're gonna put it into the um, the glasses and put it in the fridge. Perfect. Um, so I'll put that back. Yep. And add the chalk. I will hope. <laughs> I'll keep that and then put well. it on turbo mix. <laughs> this bit's gonna be really quick um, I'm just gonna pour you can just blob that into there yeah um, put that down mix it through for a few seconds yeah okay so that's literally combined now so what that will do is it will make it a lot more liquid than it was and we're gonna re and remix that are we I'm just gonna get the spatula make oh, sure no. it's all mixed through that because you good. can see stop here. following me I'm going. Where am I going? Come over oh, here. Oh no! Do you want to be 
get over there and have a look in no, there. No, I just want to show you. So it's not combined quite yet. I'm just using the spatula. I want to keep the air in it because that's got kind of what keeps it light and bubbly. So once this is all kind of mixed through, you yep. can see it's gone a lot less thick than it was. Right, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's about right now because it's all combined. Oh, that's better light. Yeah. Yep. So I'm going to just pour these into the glasses now. Oh, good. Okay. We'll oh, beautiful. We'll, yep, into those. We'll refrigerate those. Yep. And um, and then they'll be ready. And that's it. It's really, really easy and quick. How long so. do you need a refrigerator? Oh, usually. Maybe an hour or two. Okay, so it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Good. Cool. A few more bottles of wine to go for another ten hours or two. Oh my goodness! We'll be staying at Forest Haven. Well, we're going to be guys. we're going to be pretty drunk by the time we get to the factory at this time. Nothing new. All right, I'm going to cut it here. Yeah. So we're just about to sit down and have Joe's beautiful chocolate mousse, but we've just finished the most amazing pull jackfruit bun that I've ever tasted in my life. It was just amazing. So. These desserts look a light and fluffy, very fluffy. Joe, give us a demo. All right, so yeah, this is the aquafaba. It makes a quite a light mousse. Oh, These could have that. done with a little bit more time in the fridge, but you can see kind of the holes through them. Yeah, oh, they're kind of fluffy and quite light, even though they're quite rich still. So yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so we'll see you. Well, thanks. Yeah, thanks, thanks so Joe. Much, Joe. That was no just worries, beautiful. thank you. And look, so guys, get down to Forest to Haven couple. and you get yeah, to stay a night and have this wonderful have this lady food. cook this amazing fucking food. Do it. It is beautiful. But don't eat before you come and stay. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, Joe. Bye, thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? So we're just going to start the jackfruit, the barbecue jackfruit process. Yeah. So the first um, part of it is I've just got a can of the green jackfruit. This one is in brine. So make sure if you're getting it, yes. you get the one in brine or the one in water. Don't get the one in syrup because that's going to be really sweet yeah. and um, horrible. <laughs> um, so I've drained the water out of this um, and I'm just going to pour it out onto the board so you can see what it looks like. Um, it's the weirdest stuff. Isn't yeah, it? it's really weird. So it's like in these little kind of uh, triangle pieces and there's like a little hard core in the middle of these now i'm just going to cut sort of the worst not what the worst but the hardest pieces of those away and we don't use that and, do we and we're not going to use that um some people will take these little seeds out but i don't bother with that oh, <laughs> that's too much work and so i'm just going to throw those in the bowl so really i don't even take all of it off i'm not precious about it just all right um, so we're going to chop the whole thing yeah i'm just going to this will literally take like a few seconds just to do um so you can get this jackfruit in um, Asian grocers. Um, there's a few places like Quarty Free Shop, um, Vegan Perfection, or um, Uproar Online Store who also sell it. Um, yeah, so that's what's left over. We won't use that. So that's what, what we're going to use like now. Yep. Um, so I'm just going to, here I've got um, just a little bit of raw sugar. Yep. And that's maybe one to one and a half tablespoons of raw sugar. There's about a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder and some smoked paprika. Again, that's about a teaspoon. So I'm just going to put that in there. No wonder mine tasted like fucking shit when I made it. How much did you put in? I don't think in I put there. anything in it. I yeah. didn't. <laughs> and a little bit of black pepper. There's not that much left in there. So I'm actually just going to stir that through to mix it through. And we'll just leave that for 10, 15 minutes, just so it kind of gets, gets the, the flavours. Uh, Oops, gets the flavours kind of into it. Um, and then we're gonna fry that up, and we'll show you the next stage. Yeah. Yummy. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna quickly make up a coleslaw to go with Yum. the jackfruit first. And um, this is so simple. So what I've done is I've chopped a little bit of red onion. I've actually got some red onion to go with the jackfruit, so I've chopped that up. Um, and then I just saved a little wedge and I've chopped that for the coleslaw. Yum. I've got about an eighth of a red cabbage Yum. and one carrot which I've grated. Yum. And so I'm just going to put those all together. Because you really bowl. need the coleslaw, don't you? Really? Yeah. The if you just had the jackfruit, I then, mean, it would be okay. But aren't, I think we, just aren't we so professional when we're doing our cooking shows that I've got a big fucking master food barbecue sauce bottle? <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but you're right. I think it needs like it definitely needs. It a needs like that creamy sort yep. of thing yep. just yep. to yep. Take, just to add to it. Yep. And so just mix that up. Oh, you used tartan. What a great idea. Oh, tartan. Tart so Karina, if you're watching this, is oh. <laughs> Accidentally she busy. thinks that I talk about heart hair all the time and I'm obsessed with it. But I actually heart th- hair, heart hair. I actually think that this is way better than the um the praise, you know, the no, uh, no, 90, 95% the one hair. because this is so much thicker. Yeah, um, yeah we'll chuck it in. And this is like a couple oh, I'm of bucks. So gonna do that. And you get it everywhere. So I'll just put a, um, of a couple of whatever. That was like a heap tablespoon, I guess. Yeah, and then just mix it idea. through until I'm it gets excited. to kind of a bit of a creaminess. I might need a bit more. Put the dirty spoon in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use the rest of that in a potato salad that we're going to have. Good. So, um, that's fine. And then that's wow. about enough. That's beautiful. And, and the lemon juice. Just going to squeeze a tiny bit of lemon in oh, there. Yeah, I'm so good to know. Because I can't always get good mayonnaise. So, pepper, a little, little bit of so salt. Good. A little bit of pepper. pepper. And that's it done. Like how quick was that? Easy. Easy. And that stuff took like two minutes to grain chop. And that's your coleslaw done. So you can stick that in the fridge until your um, jackfruit's ready. Yeah. 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 Jackfruit bowl. So how many garlics have we got there? Um, so I've got, there were little cloves, so it's actually three really small yeah. cloves there, or one or two larger ones, no, and nice that, were, that was about a, yeah, that was a large onion, but I took a small piece yeah. out of that for the, for the coleslaw, so we're going to just put those in and start frying those. Yeah. I'll put the onion in first, because I don't want to put yeah, any garlic, yeah. so we'll put Can we time. come back to this? Yeah, we'll cook that down just a little bit not until it's completely cooked and then we're going to add the jackfruit in so we can come back to that again. right joe you're adding the jackfruit down yeah so the onions have started to soften a little bit yeah. so i'm just going to throw the jackfruit in yeah um and we'll actually fry those off until they're a little bit brown both yeah. sides all, yeah. all over yeah. and then we'll start to add the uh the barbecue sauce and i've still got the garlic yeah um, I'll just cook this a little bit more first yep. and then add the barbecue in, in a, maybe a minute or two. Okay, so right. we've browned off the onions. You can, you don't have to use red onion, you can use um, brown onion as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the jackfruit's got a little bit brown now. So, and I've, I put the garlic in as well about a minute or so ago, yeah. so that's browned off too. So it's about time to start adding the sauce. Um, I just use any old barbecue sauce. Yeah. I'm not fussy about it as long as it's vegan. The ones that all there are actually vegan. And cheap, so, so that's and just the master food one. This is the master food one. I don't measure. <laughs> no, no. no. I, used to that. I reckon I'm probably putting in about oh, half, yeah. maybe a third of a cup. Yeah. I will maybe put, I'll put more in there as it cooks. I'm just going to turn down the heat. Yeah. I, don't want, it, I don't want it to burn, but I want the jackfruit to start breaking up. So. I'm just going to yeah, turn that right down and then just cook it slowly. The other thing I'm going to add is a tiny bit of this. Yeah. Now you don't have to add this, but yeah, it's I love good. it. Liquid smoke. I grabbed two of them. Liquid Yeah. So this brand I really like because it's not overpowering. There's another one you can get. Oh, and is, you, that, is, is that the smoky, the one in the box? I can't remember the name oh, of it. Is that the the Smoky Joe's or something? Yeah, but it's really overwhelming. Yes. And if yes. you put too much in, you can't even eat, eat it. Yeah. But this stuff, you can get 43 shop. You can actually order it from like the American yeah. place, Johnny Morabin or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, but look, it just gives it a little bit more smoky. So I'm literally gonna put a few little drops, drops in there. And now I'm gonna cook this for maybe another 10, 15 minutes. It's just a really low heat. If it looks like it's getting too thick. Oh, it smells good. We need smell vision. <laughs> and that smoke is amazing. amazing. Um, Add more barbecue sauce if it's getting a bit dry. I might actually put a little bit more in there. Um, and then what we'll do is it will start really oh, softening up. Part. <laughs> It'll start really softening That's up. That's the bottle, by the way, guys. Yeah, it's not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Yeah. So, yeah, that'll get really soft and then we'll just break it apart with a fork. I actually just sort of mash it up with a fork. So, so good. It smells amazing. Yeah. So, how long do you reckon that took? Uh, maybe another 10 minutes. Yep. Um, you can cook it 10, 15, 20 minutes, yeah. depending. Um, we've, we added a little bit more of the barbecue sauce. Yeah. 
and just cooked it kind of slowly and as you can see it's really broken up we actually did use a bit of a, a fork as well to pull it apart um, and it's really sticky and kind of thick and you yeah. can see so mm. yeah. smells good just going to put that in some rolls with the coleslaw yum and we'll show you we'll what we'll eat like. alright okay yeah. this looks so good check it out everybody um I can't wait to eat it. I'm starving. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for having us. Now, just want to quickly tell us about this potato salad just in case anyone asks. So easy. This is just some steamed potatoes and then we use some more of the tartar sauce. So you have the tartar no. sauce already. Why don't you use it? It's fucking tartar. I'm on a list already. And then it's got some just some chopped spring onions and some dill in there and a little bit of seasoning. That's it. Yeah. So easy. And I'm just going to have a little taste of this. I should eat it in the... <laughs> Mm, it's so good. Get it into you. I <laughs> am, so I can put this fucking camera down. Well, put the camera down.